Welcome to Sacred Space, an act of contemplative worship. During the next 40 minutes or so, there will be prayers, readings and quiet music interspersed with periods of silence. Wherever we are in time and space, let's each take a moment now to make ourselves comfortable. Empty our minds. Focus on the candle flame. Sit square, our feet evenly spaced and flat on the floor, our hands resting in our lap. Relax. Let go of any tension and breathe deeply. We recall at a distance, as if through a veil, the everyday we are setting aside for a while. As each aspect comes to mind, we let it go. Set it aside. Watch it fade away. That has been. This is now. We turn our focus gently from the world outside to the world inside. We open our heart to the Holy Spirit and we continue to breathe deeply. Our theme is the communion of saints. We begin in prayer together. Please join in with the words in the bold print. Time never stands still, but our God is eternal. Yesterday, today and tomorrow, God is unchanging. Here and now, in this precious time, may we meet God. On the 1st of November, we celebrate All Saints Day. It falls between All Saints Eve or Halloween and All Souls Day, when some in the Christian community conduct ceremonies to remember those departed from us. In just over a week's time, we come to Remembrance Day Another moment when we recall those gone before and those who made individual sacrifices for the greater good of all. This year, in this kingdom season between Trinity and Advent, we may particularly remember before God all those, including ourselves, whose lives are directly and adversely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. In this season, it may be a comfort to remember that we are part of the communion of saints stretching across time and space. Our praise and worship, offered together or alone, are caught up in the great outpouring of praise and worship of the whole people of God, then, now, and in time to come.
we enter an Orthodox church, it's quite obvious who is at the centre of the faith of those who worship there, because we see a huge central picture of Jesus. And then all around, high and low and in every corner, there are icons of the saints, reminding us that we are part of the communion of saints, the company of heaven. This is always so, whether we are in a church or, more likely, especially at present, when we are at home, at work or outdoors. We are always surrounded by the great cloud of witnesses, for whom, as for us, Christ is at the heart of everything. They are already with Christ, with God in heaven for all time. We live on here and wonder and wait. We look to our artists and writers to know what Christ looks like and what the communion of saints looks like. Hear what John said, inspired by a very visually vivid revelation. Mark his opening words. He would have understood our present circumstances when we glimpse moments of heaven on earth in between what are frequently our struggles at the moment to find our way through each strange new day. I, John, who share with you in Jesus the persecution and the kingdom and the patient endurance, heard behind me a loud voice. I turned to see who it was that spoke to me, and I saw one like the Son of Man, clothed with a long robe and with a golden sash across his chest. His head and his hair were white as snow. His eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze. His voice was like the sound of many waters, and his face was like the sun shining with full force. He placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. Then I heard the voice of many angels and the living creatures and the elders. They numbered myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands. And there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation from all tribes and peoples and languages.
We do not know what Christ looks like. We do not know what heaven looks like. We can only imagine. While we live our earthly life, we see as in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now we know only in part, then we will know fully, even as we have been fully known. We trust in the promise of everlasting life in the company of Christ, in the company of God. A senior Jesuit priest has written that this is the essential joy of heaven. Shall we see God in heaven through his creation as we see him here on earth? No. In heaven, we will see God directly, immediately, intuitively. There will be no mediation between our minds and the infinite God. We shall see God in a way that we cannot begin to comprehend. In heaven, we will be in contact with God with a nearness that we can only believe we shall experience, but which we do not experience here on earth. In heaven, we shall not even have our thoughts stand between ourselves and God. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. shall never be ashamed Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good Happy the man who takes refuge in Him Look to Him and be radiant Your faces shall never be ashamed Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy the man who takes refuge in Him. I saw the Lord and He answered me and delivered me from all my fears. This poor man cried and the Lord heard. Taste and see 
that the Lord is good. Happy the man who takes refuge in Him. Look to Him and be radiant. Your faces shall never be ashamed. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy the man who takes refuge in him. 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 Lord, we thank you for your saints and ask for grace to follow them. Make us open like Mary, your mother, and bold like Paul, joyful like Francis, and faithful like Claire. Help us to reflect Mary Magdalene's great love for you, John the Evangelist's understanding of you, and Peter's steadfast devotion to you. And when we feel we have failed you, remind us that all your saints knew they were sinners in need of your mercy. For your love's sake, we ask this. Amen. Probably the only time we use the phrase communion of saints is when we pray the Apostles Creed. We'll use a part of that creed now as the framework for our prayers. After each creedal statement there will be a suggestion for prayer in the silence and each period of silence will end with the refrain holy, holy, holy. I believe in the communion of saints. We come before God with gratitude. We name in our hearts those whom we love and see no longer. Those whose lives have influenced and even now influence our own for good. And the countless good souls, past, present, and still to come, who leave the world a better place. Holy, holy, holy. I believe in the forgiveness of sins. We come before God with humility. We recognise our own failings, the failings of those among whom we live, and the failings of all who turn from God's way. We humbly ask forgiveness, confident in God's abundant grace.
holy, holy, holy. I believe in the resurrection of the body. We come before God with wonder. We ponder the mystery of the resurrection and marvel at dimensions of time and space that our limited imaginations cannot begin to understand. We rest amazed and awed, worshipping in God's presence. Holy, holy, holy. I believe in the life everlasting. We come to God in love, knowing ourselves to be God's children, comforted by the embrace of the Eternal Father. We contemplate the generosity and intimacy of the unending share we each enjoy in God's own life. Holy, holy, holy. With the angels and saints I offer you my love, O Lord. My heart sings with the angels and my spirit dances with the saints. Thank you that even with my circumscribed life and imperfect prayer, I am still part of this infinite and eternal mystery. As our act of worship comes to a close, please join in the final prayer. Gracious God, for whom a thousand years are as a day, and whose eternity intersects with our times and seasons. Prosper the works of our hands and grant us moment by moment a sense of your unfailing presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
and may the blessing of God the Father Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest on us and on all whom we love, tonight and always. Amen.